Now we've got Christchurch Girls High School taking on Manurewa High School in the second semi-final. Manurewa High School out onto the park, followed by Christchurch <laughs> Girls High School. As I've stated before, this Girls First 15 tournament only started in 2012. And for the first eight tournaments of his existence, it has been dominated by Hamilton Girls and Fielding High School. So this year we will see a brand new champion of the women's national top four as the two teams come together again for a moment's silence for our great friend and broadcaster, Willie Lose, who sadly passed away in the last 48 hours. And so too Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth. Who's going to meet Manukuta in the final? Erin Doherty will look after this game. The exciting weekend of the national top four continues. Girls High, to, Christchurch Girls High School to kick off to Manurewa High School, right to left as we can see it. And we're underway for semi-final number two. Manurewa High School inside the 22 fielding early. And they'll drive it out from outside their red zone, taking it into the tackle. P. Hemmer. First early touch. And a run from Manurewa High School down the left hand side. They keep going down that short side. Intercepted early. And the opening try coming up here for Christchurch Girls High School, Poppy Baxter. 30 seconds and into the game. Christchurch Girls High, Poppy Baxter. She read that one beautifully. Conversion is good. Seven points to nil early. Christchurch girls have the lead. Ten metres out. Left and right options. They go the right. Palavitu again. She'll be a danger today, no doubt. Taking it in. Gallagher. Still 10 metres out. Another penalty for Christchurch girls. Well, we saw it earlier in the semi-final. They want to go quick here. Tapped again, Munro. Spreading it. Hutchinson keeping it alive. McPherson! McPherson! Touchdown! That was just a quick tap. They've been doing it all day. And beautiful handwork there to get the ball through hand. She could have had a, one more pass out wide to her winger. Trin Taylor waiting there, but... McPherson, strong ball carry, went over through three defenders. May not have found the touchline. Yes, it has. It's a fantastic kick in the end. And now a five-metre line-out coming up here for Manurewa High School in hot attack. Komisi will feed this line-out. Straight to the front, trying to catch them napping. Komisi scores in the corner. And Manurewa High School hit back. 
Definitely caught Christchurch girls high napping on that one. Yep. Yep. Nice wee pop there for Komisi to go over. She was static with that one. Big scrum from Manurewa High School. Christchurch girls high school under pressure. And Moretti has it for Manurewa. Up inside the 22. Can they have the final save of the first half? Christchurch Girls High School blowing out. Manarewa High School still has it as they charge further forward. Samo inside the red zone. Penalty Christchurch Girls High School. Tap taken. Munro hoofs it down the field. And now the race is on at the back. It'll bounce into touch. And that'll be half time and semi final number two. 12 points to five the score. Christchurch Girls High School lead Manurewa High School at the break. Balls and ripped away by Christchurch Girls High School. They had possession. Moretti lost the ball. Now Christchurch Girls. Munro Baxter puts boot to ball again. Now the race is on at the back. It's going to bounce awkwardly. Very awkwardly. Sets up for Hutchinson. She'll race away. She'll score. Try number three for Christchurch girls. There's a good kick chase from Christchurch girls. There's equally good numbers there. Could have hand, landed in any of the hands of them. Conversion good. 17 points to five now, Christchurch Girls High School. Lead Manurewa High School. Awkward pass from Munro. Hutchinson gets the bounce. Hutchinson driving close to the line. Two metres out, Munro. Goes the short side, there it is for Baxter. Baxter will score in the corner. Nice wee miss ball straight to the hands of Baxter. She just had to do a wee outside line just to get on the outside of a defence. Tapped on. Manurewa High School have it. We're still in taking it in. Moretti plays half back. Now they move it through the hands. Or higher. Trying to play from deep inside their 22, Manurewa. And another penalty. Christchurch Girls High School. Tap take it again. Munro, Qualavitu in the corner scores. Oh, she'll be stoked with that. She was given a ball earlier. They didn't quite get to to hand but you got to give her props to that one she got the turnover and she was able to reset nice and quickly to be able to get the ball back from a quick tap from Monroe too it's just knowing well that your halfback is going to be able to go for that quick tap nearly almost every time so she was already nice and set for that she'll be ecstatic with that one therefore Manurewa High School we're still it just out from their own 22, Christchurch Girls High School have stolen it. They've ripped it away. Christchurch, Munro, Baxter, Lowe. Moving it again, Christchurch Girls. Balavitu, Balavitu, break it away. That's a fantastic individual effort. Try under the sticks. She had a nice collect of it, but she put in a couple of fins, but she'd almost injected herself off the Manarewa players and gained a lot of speed. It didn't, she didn't change pace. She was consistent when she was stepping off left to right. Cochrane for the extra two points. Christchurch Girls High School. Missed. Baxter bangs it down the field again. Looking for another 50-22, not this time. 2-4. E 
Ohio leaving it behind. Manorima High School under pressure again. Christchurch Girls High School trying to swarm the ruck. Look for the turnover. Manorima still have it. Again ripped away this time by Christchurch Girls. Manorima looking for the turnover at the ruck. Christchurch Girls win the penalty. Tap taken. Munro moving it. Baxter. Who's going to score here? Rosic Nail. She deserves one. She'll get over to score. She's been a powerful number eight all day. Her opposite, Pihima, has been putting on a clinic, and so has she. Rosic Nail. She was born in France. But that was beautiful waiting out on the wings there. And a nice clean ball. She had to definitely work for that one. Muscle over. But she's a good strong ball carrier going past Still advantage fine. line almost every time. Ragged on to the ground. Christchurch Girls High School, they keep it alive though. And penalty for Christchurch Girls. They're playing at an incredibly fast pace, aren't they? Oh, you've seen a couple of good hits coming from Manuwewa. Tapped and kicked out. Christchurch girls have had enough. They've won their semi-final. They've won semi-final number two. 39 points to five over Manuwewa High School. And they will go to Sunday and play Manukura in the national top four grand final for the Hini Pornamu Trophy. Christchurch Girls High School are going to the big dance. 39 points to five. Christchurch Girls High School are in the final.